It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Well, today with the whole church, we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias. St. Matthias, who took the place of Judas Iscariot as one of the apostles and witness to the resurrection. Um, just had a meeting with our Archbishop via Zoom, so I want to especially pray for him today through the intercession of St. Matthias as well. So as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, this mystery of God's great love for us, let's call to mind our sins and let's ask God for grace and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to make intercession for us. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And we all pray the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So we now listen attentively to God's Word. It's a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection." So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away 
to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dung hill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. And we sing together. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Gospel, wipe away our sins. Amen. So, do we not know? No, I put down some thoughts here. Um, love one another. Now, for some reason, uh, going over the readings, my uh, thoughts went to a story a theologian told. Hmm? He was talking about Mother Teresa and how she went to Harvard and gave a speech. And in that speech, Mother Teresa said that, you know, sometimes uh, some Americans visit India and they visited her in Calcutta and they look around and they say, in some of the parts, it's so poor and it's so dirty and they're just, you know, they, they come away thinking, this is the poorest place they've ever seen in the world. Well, she said, you know, that 
she's come to America and maybe they may have more buildings and wealth and all this, but there is a kind of poverty that she found in America. And she was saying that, that there is a deep loneliness, people feeling unwanted, it's a kind of indifference, people feeling uncared for and thrown away. There is sort of this deep, deep hunger uh, for love, you know? And in the speech, she also mentioned that the one place where we should feel cared for and loved and find safety is really the place where we find violence and life snuffed out. And she was talking about a mother's womb and making reference to abortion, right, in this country. Now, the theologian said, after this talk, Mother Teresa got a standing ovation for about five minutes or something like that. And he was lamenting. He said, if I gave that speech, people would stone me and tell me to get off the stage. There was something about the, what I would call the authority of love that Mother Teresa has just poured out her life so completely for people that there's a kind of authority of love is, is the only way I can describe it, you know? Love one another. Love one another, Jesus tells us, you know? And why is it that sometimes we find that so difficult and challenging? I think it's because we do not see, we do not hear, and we do not know that we are loved, that we have been first loved by God. I was thinking that a lot of times we just think of a commandment, you know? And sometimes when people, you know, when you're told to do something, you know, we react, <laughs> we may react negatively, you know? We don't want to be slaves, you know, that obey. And so we see a commandment and it's like, oh no. Um, and at other times, I think we may have a, there's a certain fear of like commitment to, you know, that it may involve some sacrifice. Jesus talks about laying down our life, you know, and I think sometimes we forget about, you know, this fulfilling of our joy. Jesus says, complete joy. You know, but this complete joy that comes from this sense of surrender and abandonment to love, a surrender that is uh, in which we find salvation, you know. So I think there is a way we need to see things a little bit differently, you know. We need to first remain in my love. That's the first thing Jesus says. Remain in my love, you know. And I'm, let me connect this to the story of the prodigal son, you know, because I think the older son in that story saw everything as a command. And so he was just kind of obeying, <laughs> obeying, yet he didn't know the father's love and he didn't remain in his love. The younger son, I think, probably thought of a commitment only. So it's like, I'm out of here. I don't want to. I don't want to wait here to, you know, commit myself. I, I've got better fish to fry. I have my own things to do. So he just left. He did not know as well his father's love until he returned, you know, and came to him. So a lot of times I think is we don't really know our father. We may see him as a taskmaster. It's like Michael Jordan in the, the last dance uh, documentary that's been going on. It's like do this or else, you know, or whatever other image we have. We don't know our father. But what Jesus is saying and Jesus shows us, he says, first thing, I love you. I have chosen you. I have called you for a special mission to go and bear fruit. And I, all I want is that my joy 
and my love that I experience should be in you and your joy may be complete. We don't hear that enough, you know? And so I thought I would connect it to the first reading a little bit, you know, because I have to say something about it, <laughs> you know? So in this, we see sort of the apostolic succession that we, we talk about in the Catholic Church. Someone is chosen, someone is called, and someone is given a mission to bear witness to the Lord Jesus. He's given an office, a ministry, and apostleship, you know? And it's one of the things that really warmed my heart as a young, younger person about our church. It's like, I remember the first time hearing that our church sort of stretches back to Jesus and to his apostles. I was just so amazed by it, you know? We can actually list from Peter going through to today to Pope Francis the succession of apostles. It's an incredible gift that we've been given. Hmm? But it was this call to serve and a call to know that I have been sent to do something. Hmm? Um, but a lot of times we forget this call. We forget that we have been loved and we forfeit this ministry like Judas sometimes, you know, sometimes during the day, sometimes in bigger ways or smaller ways. Hmm? So remain in my love, Jesus says. Um, I'm going to leave you with one last image, <laughs> which comes from a movie I just saw. Um, so this movie is a uh, Hobbes and Shaw. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but, uh, uh, there was a moment where the character uh, of Hobbes, I think he was going back to visit his family. He had actually abandoned them for 25 years, you know? And so he visited Samoa, right? And when he got back home to his family, his brother was so upset. His older brother literally punched him in the face and was like, you need to get out of here. And both of them were arguing. And then the mother just kind of got up and said, Stop all of this. You're going to welcome him. You're going to love him because he is my son. <laughs> I've missed him for this 25 years. I'm happy that he's back, you know? And there was the authority of love that a mother has that just stopped all the disagreements. And, you know, for the older brother, I'm sure it was very difficult to listen to this word of his mother, to love a brother that had abandoned the family. But because of who is asking him, he listened, you know? I'm sure it was difficult for the younger son trying to come back after 25 years, you know? But I'm sure he thought about his mother and how she would be someone who would still welcome him because of her love. So, brothers and sisters, let's remain in the love that has called us. It does involve obedience. It does involve sacrifice. But it is so that our joy might be complete. And so now, let us offer our prayers. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles. Let us give thanks to the Father for all his gifts. And our response will be the company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. 
Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles, through which we are cleansed of our sins. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. So we take a moment in silence to offer our hearts to the Lord. Remembering the one who has first loved us and calls us to joy. Father of mercy, Father of abundance and life, help us to know your love. Help us to know the joy of surrendering our lives to your love and grant all these needs that we have mentioned, those that still remain in the depths of our hearts, especially for a swift end to this COVID-19 pandemic we face. We pray in the name of your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> And please continue to be generous to us. We, we need your help and your support to continue our mission with these live stream masses. So <clears throat> please, online giving access can be found on our website, blessedsacramenthollywood.org, and also on Facebook where this mass is live streamed. Um, as God has been so generous to us, we, we are thankful for your generosity as well. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. It is the fruit of the earth and work of human hands who become for us the bread of life. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, the one who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. It is the fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. So pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always. So that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, 
we acclaim. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Hosea, Archbishop, all the bishops, your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. This Mass we especially remember and pray for the repose of Anita Agatep. And we pray for all of our benefactors of this parish. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, at our Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Power, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And so let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ give us into eternal life. Jesus wants us to remain in his love. And so we gather and we hear him at every Mass say, This is my body given for you. This is my blood poured out for you. And he gives his whole self to us. And I know we hunger to be able to share his life and his joy. So together, let's make a spiritual communion, inviting Jesus to be with us as he is here. And you may say in your heart at home, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. And I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord. We pray. 
Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I think we have a special blessing for today. As Mother Teresa says, let's share in the joy of loving, which means giving of ourselves and even giving until it hurts. <laughs> Obedient sacrifice to no joy. Hmm? So let's pray for God's blessings. May God, who, granted, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Holy Apostle Matthias. And the Church says, Amen. And may He who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. And the Church says, Amen. So that through the intercession of the Apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. And the church says, Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Church says, Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended, and so we go forth in the love of God and to share and announce the good news. Thanks be to God. Hang in there, everyone, and just keep the faith. Remain in His love.